Hello guys and welcome to another video. Hopefully I've made like two or three videos in recent weeks. When I got them I thought I'm um, no point even editing that. I just haven't felt it, you know. Nothing special anyway, as is usually mostly the case. <laughs> Oh, no foot down, look at that. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Go on, go, 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 go! What are they doing? <laughs> the whole van boat's blocked and they still didn't go. Oh, I still didn't put my foot down. Awesome! Alright, I'm gonna keep on the outside. <laughs> But turn right still. Mm. Oh, a little jump there. too fast just in case. Yeah, you may have also noticed I've moved the mirrors from being above to underneath because I kept catching my hands on them so I kept knocking them out and also I noticed they weren't in properly so they, they were sticking out a bit and squashing some of the rubber that holds them in so I took them back out, cut a bit more of that off, put them back in. Done them up for each other and still moving a bit like this but they feel tight trying to pull them out. I'm not trying too hard because I don't want to make them fail or anything, but I hope I better drop my speed a lot. Those are sheets. But yeah, they, they work alright as long as I'm leaning forward. If I'm sitting up like this with one hand off the thing because I'm chilled and there's nothing about it, I can't really see the road. I can see how I'm like lean forward a little bit and see the road fine, but yeah, no, I'm not going that far. Away. Whoops, a little more than my forward. But yeah, they work alright. I've just got to get this one pointing down a little bit. I've got to change it on the move just in case something happens. <laughs> yeah, one of the videos I've done was a little pointless, really. I sort of was saying I'm sort of giving up motor vlogs because I can't really do anything interesting because of my life. I don't have anything going on. I don't know anyone who rides. I can't go out on rides. I don't know where to ride to and all that sort of thing, you know. So it's pretty boring for a motor vlogging, so I'm going to mostly try and do working on the bike, but then again, there's only so much I can do. Mad old chat. <laughs> I swear he had more room than he was letting on in that little car. It's pretty thin up here, isn't it? Definitely could have moved over a bit. Check your mirrors and you'll see how much room you've got. Some awesome views over there you can't see, probably. But yeah, that is the truth, you know, what I was saying. Lovely mud on the road, it's nice of them to tell them. It's true, you know, I don't have a lot to do, don't have a lot to talk about. So how I've got two and a half years into it, I don't know. And as for the sort of mechanical stuff with the bike, I've still got some stuff to do. I've got the sprocket and chain still to do. I've got a air filter and some spark plugs to do on it. All the stuff I've been getting, like the bars and the levers and the grips and the sprockets and all that, has all taken me months and months to get together some of the first stuff I got for it and far off a year ago you know it's almost a year since I had the bike just over a month and that'll be about, about a year since I've had the bike and that's when I first started buying little bits and pieces for it whenever I could I think one of the first bits was probably the front sprocket because they're cheap and I wanted to go down one tooth on it after all these months I've got most of the stuff together and I wanted to do the air filter, obviously the spark plugs together, but also the chain sprockets together. 
and the last thing that I ordered, which I ordered actually late last night, is a Scorpion Uncan for it, which I'm pretty chuffed about, so I'm going to actually be heard by people now, and that'll actually sound nice. I mean, the standard sound on these bikes is pretty nice, but it is quiet. And that'll be just about it for what I'll buy for upgrading it. The only things I need then is whatever I need for the MT next year, which is definitely a front tyre, so I'd prefer to get a set rather than just do the front tyre. Although the rear tyre does look pretty good still, I just don't think that's the best way to go, I don't know. That's usually the way with cars, you know, especially like if you're doing the front axle, if you're going to get a front left, you've got to get the front right at least. So otherwise they're going to wear quicker on your new one because the other one's already there a bit so that's going to cause more drag on the left. I don't know if people still like, oh the front's getting a bit loose or change the front and leave the rear. I don't know whether people still recommend to change both but that's what I'd rather do with the tree down. So that's what I would rather do. Get both if I can. Before next year at least I think for the summer the front one will be alright. So I'll just go right just for the fuck of it. I've been all down these roads before. But on my 125. Don't really want to be on these roads too much on this because a lot of them are so thin. That's not enough on the little 125 on this. <laughs> it's a little worse. So yeah, I've got a few bits and pieces to do on that and I'm looking forward to getting this exhaust. I still do want to like refurbish the swing arm a bit if I can but I've got to get a stand proper super bike stand for it so I can get it up using the pegs they, they have an adapter that you take one of the pegs off and that, that attaches to the pegs so you can lift bikes like this up that haven't got anywhere to lift them up otherwise and that would allow me to remove the swing arm that's over a hundred quid to get that and it, it's accessories I'd need. If not I'll have to just um, get it on the paddock stand and just sand all the bits that are rusty on the inside and paint it while it's on the bike. That's the other option you know which I might think about doing. Yeah it's not hugely um, important really because obviously the swing arm such a big piece of metal, big chunky piece of metal that'll outlast the life of this bike anyway I think even if it's left Every now and then when I wash the bike I do treat that with a lot of other parts with some ACF50 just to try and hold back this rust a bit. And obviously I do want to upgrade this to a Super Sport at some point but that will definitely be at least a couple of years if not more. That's why I was thinking of maybe building one in some way. I'm going to follow him just for the fun of it. I don't know where it goes to or anything. <laughs> I felt like I'd done a little drift around that corner there. Not sure I did. I'll probably find out I've been all around there. I've been around a lot of these roads on the 125. But yeah, the other option, like I say, could be building my next bike, which would be quite fun, but it'd be expensive and take a long time. Oh, I know where I am. Might as well head back to this way and find somewhere else. I definitely want to get a 600 Super Sport next time, just so I've owned one in my life, you know. Even if I only owned it for a couple of years and then moved back onto a naked, maybe a bigger bike, maybe a 1000cc, maybe an 8 or 900cc, I don't know. I wonder what they're doing down there. I think say these look, roads look nice with nice new tarmac, and that's just a <laughs> short stretch. Down a bit. I didn't know what was going on over here. <laughs> well, I'm sure I've been down these roads, I'm not 100% familiar with them, so always got to be slightly cautious. Yeah, as for giving up motor vlog and all that, um, you know, that's why I didn't. <laughs> Sorry about muddling my words and shit, but that's why I didn't sort of edit and put up that video, even though in the video I didn't say I'd want to give up or anything like that. I was saying, you know. 
I'm not going to try and force out anything because it's just going to be boring the same old stuff. Got the same old shit. Right the same old rooms. But if I have anything interesting to do or think of something to do, then I'll do a video, you know. But that means that channel might go quiet for periods of time. But I'll just do a video when I when I can, you know. But if I get to start building the bike, however I do it, by an old banging and sort of restore or something like that, I don't know, whichever way I decide to do it. That'll take a long, long time because obviously parts cost quite a lot of money, so... <laughs> yeah, so that would take me a lot of time. You know, if it became popular, maybe I'd get some support on Patreon and maybe it could become a series, but I doubt it, so I'm just going to check the buggers on my screen. Just move something on my visor. So, like I say, it would take a long time, but that would be fun to do. By the odd bit, big bit I would need here and there, and then in between that by all little bits and try and build like sections up at a time or something like that would be quite fun but then I'm like thinking well how am I going to film it and stuff like that as well you know I mean I don't know whether I'd be able to get used to showing myself on camera and stuff I've always been a bit camera shy it's going to be interesting to see what this bike's like once I've done the chain and sprockets with the one tooth down and the uh, air filter and the uh, Exhaust because the exhaust is safe apparently, even though that's just an own can, which means I don't need to get it tuned or anything. Apparently, that still gives it like a five plus brake horsepower gain. I don't know what the gains are in torque because I didn't say anything about that. And plus, the air filter because it's going to be an, a performance filter that probably gives some gains. Call that built a load here since I last came through. That's really changed. I'm going to all places. Down to all routes anyway. Nice parking on the corner. Fucking idiot. Still indicating left and pull away man. What an idiot. I was thinking of going to... I keep thinking my indicator's still on. The sun just shines on it and makes me think it's on. Yeah, I was thinking of going to Mr Fish's beginning of season meetup, but I don't know when if I can make it. And two, whether I'd really enjoy it, you know. Because it's been going for years now, and most people who go while motor vloggers, so it's like most people probably already know each other there now and stuff, and got their little groups they get together and chat. And oh, I don't know. I probably can't make it anyway because I just wouldn't have the cash for the petrol to get down there and that, so that do not really matter. That's been a nice ride, nice excuse to get out. I have to just try and think of something to do <laughs> closer to home. Anyway, I think that's enough of me boring you with my crap chat. And I will see you fairly soon, most likely when I start doing some work on the bike. I'll probably do it in sections, do like the air filter and spark plugs first. Well, I'll try and do them all in one day, but like do a video of air filter and spark plugs, video of the chain and sprockets, and video of the exhaust. The comparison of stock and when the end cans on, and the air filter should give us some different induction sound, and that give me an excuse to do another video also of. Uh, Go out and test it all and see what the bike feel like. This is already a rapid bike, even from right, right from the start, right from low down, because it's a talky thing. Thank you very much. much more used to it now though with, with, with the 
talk and really responsive throttle and stuff, you don't give it much. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you go and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're new. Well, if you're in this lane, speed it up a bit. You obviously came in there to get past some people. But now they're all going to go slow as heck. What are you indicating for? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Hopefully I'll see it soon.